guys, welcome to Fashion X Beauty, and today I'm doing my binder organization video just because I figured it would be good for my back to school video because um, I know a lot of people carry around binders now. Oh, and I'm sorry I'm looking off like the sun. Like, I mentioned this in my room tour, but I haven't uploaded it yet. Like, I have the perfect view of the sunset, and the sun is currently setting. I I'm, I'm weird. <laughs> So, anyways, um, that is why I'm doing a binder organization. I just figured it would be helpful for a lot of people. And also, I'm sorry if I start look at the screen like it's crazy sometimes because my iPad screen, I cracked it a while ago and I got it fixed. And my iPad screen is literally falling off my iPad. Like, I can stick my fingers under the screen. Like, it's not right at all like I don't even know why it's like that but I have to get it fixed again um and I'm get I have a new editing app so um if uh things are a little bit glitchy I apologize I'm trying to get it to work so I'm really excited about my new editing app but yeah um I guess that is it so let's start the video Just a little side note before we do actually start the video, um, I did say in my last back to school video that I was gonna upload my room tour. Um, I I I filmed it. I just didn't. I, I um, had to finish editing it, and I was too lazy to finish editing it. Classic me, and I was too lazy to upload it. So I figured, oh, it's fine. I'll just upload it next week, and I'll do a Friday video just do my Friday video, I'll just skip one day this week. Um, yeah, that, uh, yeah. I was too lazy to, um, I filmed a back to school video for you guys on Friday, but I was too lazy to e edit that one and upload it, so now you guys are getting this video, so on a Sunday, um, it's great, and my room tour will be uploaded on, uh, Tuesday, and you'll have another video on Friday, so, so yeah. This is, I think let's get started with the video, sorry, I gotta correct the camera. Um, this is my binder, and it's kind of hard to show you the whole thing because it has my name on it and I'm not allowed to say my name, but um, if you want to see the full binder, go watch my Back to School Tips and Tricks video, and it will show the whole inside of the binder and the whole front of the binder, but yeah. So, I'll get started with the organization now. So, to stay organized... Um, I only put one thing in this pocket, um, just so it, that way it doesn't get all cluttered and doesn't look all bad. And all of that, okay, it's, it's stuff, isn't that great? I just put these tissues, and I actually had them last year, and I used them last year too, but I didn't, um, I didn't finish them, I didn't use them all. So, I'm using them again this year, and they're just like this little pack of Kleenex, and it's really cute because they're the Chevron and stuff. But it's kind of embarrassing that we all know it's kind of embarrassing to like get up to get a tissue because then like the tissue looks at, at you and it's like, I'm drawing attention to myself. So then there's this, this little Velcro pocket right here. And I'm going to try not to show you guys my name. Um, and I'm going to flip it around. Um, usually my calculator would be right here. But, um, it had my name on it, so I had to take it out, and, like, I put my name on it ridiculously big. So, yeah. But, so, in this, I have two pens right here, and then this, I have my mechanical pencils, and I keep two mechanical pencils, because I'll mostly be using mechanical pencils, okay. I'll mostly be using mechanical pencils, and, um, I put back these little backup ones in here. Um, I just put like these three backup pencils in there, um, just in case like the teacher doesn't want us using mechanical pencils, or like um, I lose like these. I just have backup ones, and I only keep three backups just so it doesn't get too crowded. And it's just three is I thought a good number, and then two mechanical pencils in here. And I only have two mechanical pencils, so I just put both of them in here. And if you have mechanical pencils, they're pretty pricey. So I would put them somewhere you know they're not going to fall out. That is why I put them, like, where the flap is. And then I just put the normal ones right here. Um, just three normal pencils. And then over here, I, there's this slot for three pencils. And I didn't, or three pencils or pens or whatever. 
And I didn't put three in there, just, I'm sure I will eventually maybe, but if you have a binder like this, um, put as many as you want in there, but, yeah. Also, if you have a binder, I would recommend doing stuff behind here, but I didn't put anything back there, but if you have extra stuff, you can put it back there. But I put one main black and one main red. Black is for writing, red is for grading papers, like, because you grade your own papers a lot. But I just put two in here on the front because those will be my main ones. And then I did put backups in my binder too. But here's my two main ones. And then that is what is in the This front is pile. the inside of my binder. And as you can see, I don't have anything in this little pouch right here right now. Um, but I'm sure I eventually will. So if you do have this kind of binder and you have anything extra, or if you have a binder and you just have extra space, don't just like cram whatever you want in there just because you have extra room because during the school year you will probably get stuff to put in there. So then over here I have um, a pencil case even though I don't actually have any pencils in it. I will show you what I have in it. So right over here I don't have, I have all my folders but I don't have the, any of the tabs in them you'll notice because I haven't gotten my schedule yet. But, um, I go Tuesday to get my schedule and for, like, registration and stuff. So, um, I will get my tabs and my schedule and so I'll know what I need. Like, what classes I'll need folders for and stuff. But, um, it's good if you have two pocketed folders because then, like, if this was, like, my social studies fo folder... I could have my social studies work in the front and my social studies homework in the back rather than just shoving it like the homework and the work and getting it confused in one. And then if this was like math, like I could get like, if this was like my math one, I could have Mac, 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 math work and math homework rather than just shoving it all together. And then just some more folders for more classes. Um, I have two of every color, I think. Yeah. And then in the very back, this will be an extra folder. I won't need this folder. It's just an extra one. So in the front, I keep lined paper. And in the back, I keep graph paper. And this, I just only keep like one third of my lined paper in here. And then like one third, maybe not even a third, um, like one third of the graph paper in here. And if you want, you can keep your extra in your locker or at home. I'm going to keep mine in my locker, but I know a lot of people keep it at home, but I don't think I'll remember to, like, re-put it in there if I if I keep it at home, like, because I'll think it's my locker. It won't be in there, and then I'll forget to put it back in there at home. So, like, once you're running low, if you keep it in your locker, I think I'll be able to remember to get it. So, that's the inside of my binder, my pencil much. case is, um, I took it out of the three prongs in my binder, just so I could show you guys it better. Um, I wouldn't normally do that if I was at school and I was just taking it out. Um, but this, I said it in the last video, this pencil case is just from Walmart. Um, but I'll show you what's in it. So, first I have some mechanical pencil lead because I have mechanical pencils. And if you have mechanical pencils, just even though you have your backup pencils, keep lead with you it's just kind of like common sense just keep it with you rather than in your locker because just keep it in your pencil case especially since pencil cases are so big now like you can just fit a ton of stuff in there but um just some lead keep it in there um then i have pink eraser um i have never used a full pink eraser i've never used half of a pink eraser. Why do we need pink erasers, people? Why do we need them? Um, we have pencils with erasers on them. I have, I've, I, I will be lucky if I use this three times during the year. I will not use it. Nobody uses them, really, but they say you have to have one, so if, only keep one with you. One is an, oh, the only thing necessary. Not even one is necessary, but they tell you to have it, so keep it with you, and it's best to keep it in your pencil case, just because it's just kind of like all your little stuff like that, kind of stuff like that. Um, so I would just keep it in there and then keep all your extras in your locker. Um, then I keep, I keep two highlighters with me. Only two. You don't need any more than two. If, like, 
the teachers usually tell you highlights from two different colors, so I got a basic yellow, in case I'm only highlighting one thing, and then a blue as a fun one, so that way if I'm highlighting together, I have two different colors. Um, yeah, if you do keep two in there, um, make them two different colors, because teachers always say, oh, you need to highlight in two different colors, even you, my dad is yelling at something, um, but, yeah, only keep two with you, that's the only thing that's necessary, really, then, I would keep, since you have, like, your little stuff, like, your erasers, and things like, and your lead in here, I would keep your USB in here as well, um, because it is a USB, in case you haven't seen my other video, um, I have it in a rough USB. Don't keep it, like, out in the open, because, like, it will get lost if you just keep it, like, you just shove it inside your binder. It will get lost, especially, like, mine probably wouldn't, because mine's so big and bulky, but little ones, they will get lost. Then, I probably won't use this either. It's probably in that category of things I won't use, because I'm going to be using mechanical pencils mostly. Um, it's just a pencil sharpener. It was on our supply list, so guess I just gotta put it, I just put it in here instead of keeping it in my locker just in case I do need it, but in case the teacher doesn't have one on the wall or a, one and I don't have mechanical pencils with me, but I know, um, I might, my, will probably always have lead with me, so, yeah. Uh, I also have this glue stick, um, only one glue stick is necessary, really, um, yeah, you only need one glue stick, and I keep it in there, then I have some backup pens, I have two backup red and one backup black, because you don't use black as much as red, so if you want to keep two backup black, then you can, but then I have a little, um, a dry erase marker, and dry erase markers, it's really hard for them to dry out, like, they don't dry out very easily, and you won't use it a lot, so I only keep one with me, so, yeah. Hey guys, I'm back, except you guys didn't know I was ever gone, because this is going to be all put into one video, and that light's being stupid, so. I went on a walk, and now it's 8.30, and I still haven't eaten anything, so still haven't eaten dinner. So now I'm going to be doing like what not to keep in your binder and what to keep in your locker and then that should be it for our, for our video. So first thing that you should keep in your locker is extra wooden pencils. If you just have wooden pencils I'd recommend keeping them about six or seven maybe in your binder but your extra ones um all e extra pencils like keep them in your locker because I wouldn't keep them at home because you're going to need them, but I'd keep them in your locker for sure, um, just because you're going to need new ones. Okay, my iPad's, like, doing stuff that I don't like. I'm sorry. Uh, but don't keep your extra pencils with you because that's just a waste of space. Then don't keep Germex with you because you're not going to need it, like, during class. Like, you're just going to need it. Okay, it's like, I'm, I know you guys can see this probably, but it's like popping out and out, like the screen, like there's, okay, I really apologize for that, that's like, horrible. Um, it's just kind of, you don't need it with you because you're not going to be a during class, like doing it, like washing your hands or anything, but like put it in your locker because you will want it in your locker if you have Germex. Um, then highlighters, um, highlighters, you only need two with you at the most because Teachers are always like, oh, you need to highlight two different colors. So once those, the two you have in your binder run low, get two of two different colors, like orange and pink or whatever two colors you have left. Um, get two different colors and put them back, but only keep two with you and then keep the others in your locker. Then expo markers, um, keep your expo, keep, like I only had got two expo markers, but, um, you only need one expo marker with you because you don't use them a lot and you won't like need them very often like so and they don't go dead I guess I'd say like they don't dry out very easy so I'd only keep one with you you can keep two but I only do one and then pens like I said before um the pens just you basically just 
Um, I got I have three red pens in my binder and the two black pens because you use red pens more than black pens. But if you want to keep three black pens, then you can. It's totally optional, up to you. And you can keep two red pens if you feel you use those less. Just whatever works for you. Where did my... Okay. Here it is. Oh my gosh. This video is a wreck. Literally a wreck. So, then there's my pink eraser that I can't stress it enough. Um... Sorry, my brother was knocking at the door, but I can't stress this topic enough that you're not going to use your pink eraser. So keep all your extra pink erasers in your locker. You only need one with you. You don't really even need one with you, but they say, so keep only one with you. And then keep all extras in your locker. So, now i got to move over to here. So, um, how many of these weird because I have my name on them? But you're you're not gonna need these until and like so keep these in your locker definitely because these are so big like you you should not keep them in your locker at all whatsoever like you don't need them in your locker um, but these just uh you might want to keep them with you on the first day because on the first day like you're probably gonna need them because there will be big projects, not big projects, but like projects on the first day, you might need them. But after the first day, keep them in your locker until the teacher says you're going to need them, and then um, you can take them out. So, yeah. Then, your glue stick, you're only going to need one glue stick with you, so keep your other glue sticks in your locker. Only keep one glue stick in your binder. Then, you don't need sticky, sticky notes, really, unless they're on your school supply list. Um, I don't even need them for my locker, I just, I'm gonna put them in there because I have a whiteboard, but for your locker, just to write notes down, but don't bring them into your classroom unless, like, it says it on your supply list, but I would keep these in your locker for most definitely. Then, if you're like me and you're horrible at math, um, I would get a multiplication chart because... I printed this out last year, and it helped me last year, and, um, yeah, it just helped me a lot, but to keep this in your locker, like, maybe right next to your math book, or on top of your math book, or however you have your locker set up, just keep it right next to your math book, so that way, you're not carrying it around, like, 24-7, because you're not in math class 24-7, but so, like, whenever you go to take your math book, you can, like, have this with you. In case the teacher says you can use multiplication charts, I don't know how your school is, is or how your teachers are if they want you to use them, but yeah. Then, there are your notebooks. Don't keep notebooks with you because they'll like weigh your binder down if you keep them in your binder. And it'll stack your binder up too tall, it'll break your zipper. So, yeah, don't keep like any notebooks with you unless they're spiral notebooks that go in there and they fit but and you don't want to have to like carry these around and you only want to keep them in there and like if one was like social studies like if this one was like social studies like i grab it out of my locker go to social studies and put it back into my locker then i believe this is the last thing which is line paper and graph paper i'm leaving mine in my locker but you can leave it at home and so whenever you bring your binder home every night, like, you can, like, if you notice you're going low on it, um, you can, like, do it at home. But once I'm at home, like, I'm in relaxed mode, so I wouldn't memorize it, but however you want to do it, but I'd keep it in my locker. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I really would love if you subscribed right there. The button's right there. Right there. And you can press that. And you will become a member of our YouTube family. And there will be a 100 subscribers gift. And we hope, really hope you subscribe. We really work hard on our channel. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, have a good day. Bye.